I've been an artist all my life. Um, I was the kid that was drawing pictures instead of listening in class. <laughs> and uh, my formal art training is in illustration, and I have struggled to get away from that for many years. Um, this piece right here is called Community Spirit. My process sort of works like this. For a piece like this, I do watercolor sketches of actual people downtown in Nashville, where I'm from. Um, so it's people watching to the nth degree. Um, and after I've accumulated many, many of these sketches, uh, I use those sketches as references to place the figures in uh, stylized cityscape. This particular cityscape is a, um, a nod toward the courthouse, but with all symbolism removed. Um, even the flags are white. Uh, so it's all about them. Hello, my name is Rod McGaha, and I'm here on uh, 208 Studios, second floor, and we're doing an art showing as a prerequisite to the TEDx, and this is one of my pieces entitled Thought, and a lot of my photography is based on double exposures and just blending imagery, and what we want to do soon is to start writing music and putting on performances that go along with the images, just to kind of help people understand what everything is about. So that's it, right here. I'm Jeff Crockett, and I have Closer True Studio out in Mount Juliet where I have a wood shop and a studio. Uh, these pieces are what's called basket illusions. It's a solid piece of wood that's been turned on a lathe and it's been beaded. And then each individual line is drawn and then burnt by hand using a pyrography machine. And then all the color work is done with Faber-Castell India ink, which sits on the surface and doesn't go down in the surface. They're done front and back. So both the front and the back of each piece is completed. Uh, there's an average of 200 hours in each piece. This piece I haven't titled yet. This piece right here is what I call the Christmas poinsettia because it has a lot of the same color elements as a poinsettia. And then this piece right here is the cathedral window. It's a takeoff of a stained glass window in a church. I enjoy doing these. I've been wood turning for about 40 years and this is kind of the line where I've started to move towards uh, adding art elements to my wood platters. Hi, I'm Tammy Gentuso. I'm a local Nashville artist and my medium is clay. Um, I kind of have a thing for architectural uh, sculpture, so that's where you see I've got a Nashville series that I have on display at the gallery, uh, the Studio 208 this week, and it'll be available also during the art crawl in April. In general, my home and my studio are at the Clay Ladies Campus, which is also in Nashville. Come look us up. I'd love to see you, show you around, and make you a cup of tea. Very cool. Thank you so much. Thank you. My name is Aaron Graham and this is my art. Uh, this piece is called Brave the Rain. I did it about 10 years ago. And uh, I did it for a fundraiser for uh, the Kimmy Foundation. And so my thinking behind this piece was I was picturing a kid in a hospital bed wanting to say something to the world and I was the only one who could say it for them. And so I was just thinking like, you know, what might they tell somebody else? And that kind of thinking uh, just kind of um, steered the rest of my art. Uh, steers a lot of, inspires a lot of my words, inspires me to go back and paint things uh, the way that I did when I was a kid. Um, and just kind of breathe a new life into a younger me. My name is Elise Kendrick. Uh, this is my artwork right here. I 
I tend to paint iconic figures of history, people that I admire, people that have left a lasting impression on myself and others. Um, mostly I use acrylic. I also like to incorporate text into my pieces as well. So these are quotes from Jimmy Hendrix's um, songs. And I've also added some vinyl records as well to this one. And then in the Mandela piece, I've put quotes on the frame um, from him as well. And so I love adding color. Um, I love vibrancy. I like when my work speaks to you. Uh, visually, and so that's what I chose to do. Very cool. Very cool. I'm Erin Laughlin. I go by Erin Elise Artiste. And I do Oops, sorry. A, <laughs> I do an abstract style. I love landscapes. Um, I love the hint of the landscape. Uh, sort of a subtle structure to my abstracts that helps the reader as a viewer um, reach into their imagination. So. Hi, I'm Adrian Wallace and I do abstract work. I am a native of Mississippi and now living in Nashville, Tennessee. You can find my work in several different galleries throughout the southeast, actually in every state except for Georgia and I'm working on that. I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Hi there, I'm Gil Gibbon, I'm a national artist, and I work in, uh, I call them dimensional paintings or sculptural paintings, and um, the work is uh, originally based on uh, the paintings of uh, uh, color field artists Frank Stella and Mark Rothko, and I studied a lot of color theory with Johannes Inton and, uh, and Joseph Albers. And so that's kind of the basis of where the work is. Um, these pieces are made of plexiglass, wood, and hand cut and hand painted canvas. And uh, I've been doing them for these particular ones for about a year and a half. Um, these particular pieces that are here behind me uh, take about three weeks to, to do one. And, uh, and it's a very involved process. But I enjoy it, I'm retired, I have the time to do it, and I feel, I feel very uh, uh, honored and pleased to be a part of this, uh, this uh, and to be a part of the whole TEDx experience. So, yeah, come on out and see us, have fun. Thank you. Very cool, very cool. Did I wing that all right? Oh, you're <laughs>